Today, we want to tackle the age-old question that's been asked for hundreds of years, and that is, can a Christian lose their salvation? Stick around. We're going to get right into it. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Ted Shuttlesworth, Jr., and I'm giving you truth for life. Listen, if you enjoy these videos and you like my channel, I want to encourage you to subscribe. I have new videos coming out every single Tuesday. So today we want to ask the question, can Christians lose their salvation? And the argument here from some is that once you're saved, no matter what you do, you're saved forever and on your way to heaven. Others would argue that your life has to reflect obedience to the commands of God to endure to the end or to remain in Christ. In fact, Jesus teaching in the Gospel of John, he likened that life in Christ to a vine and branches. He's the true vine, the Bible says, and we're the branches. And he said, if anybody abides in me and produces fruit, my father will prune him so that he'll produce even more fruit. But then he said, people who were in me or connected to the vine that refuse to produce fruit, they will be cut off and severed and thrown into a pile to be burned, the Bible says. One of the ways we know that someone is a true believer in Jesus Christ, the Bible says you will know them by the fruit of their life or the actions that they choose to take that obey God's word. And so obedience to the word of God is a sign that someone is a follower of Christ. One of the problems we face as believers is that we're not just pure spirits. We also have a soul, which is our mind, our will, and our emotions, and we have a carnal flesh being. And no matter how long you live, you will never stop being tempted by the enemy. But how you respond to temptation will determine whether you fail or whether you succeed in your life for Christ. Do you know the Apostle Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 27, he said, I have to keep my body under subjection. He said, because even after having preached to other people, if I don't keep myself in line, at the end of my life, he said, I could become a castaway. That word in the Greek there is actually a reprobate or someone who does not belong to God. And so even the Apostle Paul understood that if we don't take disciplined actions to live for Christ and to obey his word and his commands, then we can turn away from the faith and leave the faith. In fact, Paul even prophesied about that to Timothy in 1 Timothy chapter 4. He said, in the last days, there will be some who will depart from the true faith. And so that's Bible prophecy, that in the end of time, there will be people whose hearts grow cold and they depart from the faith. Then the apostle Peter made a statement in 2 Peter chapter 2. He said, people who have been delivered from the defilements of this world through their knowledge of Jesus Christ, if they go back and get entangled again in those things, it would have been better had they never known the way of righteousness than to have known it and lived in it and then turned away from it once again. So it's possible for believers to have been connected to Christ, to be living for him at one point, but not fight against temptation and allow themselves to fall back into the entanglements of this world again. It doesn't mean that you immediately lose your salvation anytime you commit a sin, but when you continue in willful sin and don't fight against the temptations of this world to overcome and to endure to the end, then the Bible says it is possible to be removed from the vine and to be in a place where you're no longer in fellowship with God. And then the book of James finishes this way. He says, if any among you, the believers, strays from the truth and somebody brings him back, whoever brings this sinner back saves his soul from death. And so you can see that James clearly understood that if somebody strays from the faith, strays from the truth, and begins living in sin again, the penalty of that is that their soul will end in death. But how awesome is it that somebody can bring them back into the truth, and that's what repentance is all about. In fact, 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Hey guys, thanks for watching again today, and I hope this video opens your eyes to some truths from God's word. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. And don't forget until next time, goodness and mercy are following you for the rest of your life. I'll see you next week.